Hi everyone, welcome to learning ASP.NET Core. This is Madan. Today I am going to talk about lazy loading in Entity Grammar Core in the context of ASP.NET Core MVC application. So here I have created a project and uh, I have uh, added few things here. So in the model I have added uh, two model classes here, sensor and the reading and the sensor and the reading has one to many relationships. So we have a sensor here and few properties and it has a list of reading and on the reading i have configured the reverse side of relationship and i have uh, added a sensor id here so the sensor and reading are related uh, in the relation of one to many and uh, in the data in the application db context what i have done is i have created the db sets of sensor and reading and i have seeded the database with the initial values so i have added the two sensors um, by using the ent uh, entity framework that uh, builder dot entity sensor dot has data method and this has data method is used to set the database and i have added a two sensor with the id of minus one and minus two and i have added a three reading and uh, two of them are related to the sensor with id minus one and other one record is related to the sensor id minus two so we have a sensor record and the reading of the sensor record initially seeded to the database after then i have uh, updated run the migration and update the database so uh, you need to do that from here and what i have done is in the home controller i have injected the context here application db context and then i have fetched the sensors the to list that means uh, i'm i have fetched all the sensors record from the database and uh, return that to the as a okay result so we can see that those results in the view and uh, the project is starting up so what let's see the output of the project first so in the local local list, let's refresh and here we go we see the two sensor reading so the one is the sensor with the id minus two and another one is the sensor with the id minus one so we have two sensor but the readings field of the sensor is empty here so what lazy loading does is whenever we call the query on the parent table that means the sensor table uh, the lazy loading will load all its related child uh, in the uh, involved in the one to many relationships so uh, whenever we uh, enable the uh, lazy loading feature in entity framework core then those readings will also get fetched with the uh, sensor dot to list query here so uh, normally what we do in order to load the <coughs> readings what we can do is we can do include command include and then we can pass what we want to include x dot readings and let's correct this dot to list and then let's bring in the namespace for this namespace has already bought in and context or sensor that include readings dot to list so this is all right now so if i go over and then refresh the page then what you see now is we get the readings for each sensor so we get one reading for sensor with the id minus two and we get the two readings for sensor with the id minus one so we can explicitly load data or the related data by using the include queries but with the lazy loading we don't need to use this include query here we just need to call uh, send uh, one queries on the master table and that will fetch all the uh, related data from the child table as well so let's learn how to enable lazy loading so for the first step in order to uh, enable the lazy loading we need to bring in the package here so this lazy loading is uh, disabled by default in entity framework course so what we can do is we need to use microsoft dot entity framework core dot proxies package so we need to install this microsoft dot entity framework core dot proxies and let's install it so it has successfully installed here and as we can see the package has been listed in our CS press and then after that the next step is in order to use lazy loading feature 
we need to mark all of our related properties as virtual so here we want to face the readings and this reading is the part of one to many relationship so we need to make this virtual let's save this after then we need to override the on configuring method so let's override that override on configuring method and in this on configuring method what we can do is we can do options options builder dot use lazy loading proxies let's save this and then it is not giving us the suggestion so let's double click on this project and let's this lazy loading that cs pros has not been saved so let's click on save after that it has gone now so this is all we need to do to enable the lazy loading now let's uh, browse the application and uh, uh, keep in mind that we have only faced the sensors here and let's see the effect of lazy loading let's refresh and now with lazy loading in place we get the readings of the sensor uh, that means we get all the uh, related uh, all the data related to the sensor uh, automatically with the lazy loading so we don't need to run the include query here we don't need to do sensors dot include and uh, include the navigation properties it will be automatically done uh, with the lazy loading but uh, there is a one big problem with the lazy, lazy loading and uh, it is the <coughs> database uh, n plus one database query problem so if you want to learn more about the n plus one database query problem then you can uh, search that in the google and uh, what happens is that whenever we try to load each parent that means whenever we try to load each sensor then the another all the queries uh, uh, in the database will be sent along with the uh, query to face the sensor so if we have a uh, hundred sensor uh, and then uh, we have a hundred uh, each uh, collection for that uh, for those hundred sensors then whenever we want to get the all the sensors from the database then uh, the query to fetch the all the sensors that is the one query will be sent to the database and then uh, mm, the other queries that uh, the other queries that are uh, needed to load the related record will also be sent to the database so what it says is that the n plus one query problem occurs when the code needs to load the children of the parent child relationship and the most of the orms have lazy loading enabled by default so queries are issued for the parent record and then one query for each child record so this is a big problem performance problem uh, if we have uh, so many you know, large number of rows in our database and uh, let's see uh, how many queries it sends to the database by enabling um, uh, logging in our application so in order to enable logging we need to go over to the program.cs and then what we can do is we can add a configure logging option here logging goes to logging dot add filter let's add filter and then we are going to log all the entity framework core queries microsoft dot microsoft dot entity framework core and then we pass the log label log label dot and then let's pass information of log label as information information log label now i want to do one more thing here in the option build builder what we're gonna do is option builder dot options builder dot enable sensitive logging what this does is with this we can see the parameter values passed along with the queries in our database so let's clear this and then let's run our application again now let's refresh this and it is working as before and our lazy loading is working now let's see and in the log what we can see is 
in order to get uh, let's minimize this in order to how many queries we need uh, are passed to the database we can verify that from here so we have one query that fits all the sensor from the database and we have two more queries that is the one query that fits the reading for the mm, sensor with the id of minus two and other queries that fits the reading for the sensor with the id of minus one so uh, with uh, if we enable lazy loading and let's say we just want only want to uh, display the sensor uh, in the table then uh, that will send n plus one queries to the database and uh, that uh, is a uh, really a huge um, uh, application performance problem so uh, you can enable lazy loading uh, to help you code faster in our in your application but uh, uh, with the lazy loading our application performance decreases uh, as uh, whenever when uh, the date number of rows in the database increases so you need to be very careful while using this lazy loading feature in your ASP.NET Core MVC application so this is it for now friends and if you like this video then please don't forget to share and subscribe thanks for watching and have a great day